Good morning, Instagram. We have a little update for the CNC table going on today. Let me flip you around and show you what we've got. So with our current setup, we have the compressed air for the torch coming out of the air compressor through a couple major water filters and then into this. It's called a motor guard filter. And goes in there, takes moisture out, and then goes to the plasma cutter. Now on the back of the plasma cutter, there is a little final water catch that's still getting moisture in it. So I know this little motor guard thing is not doing sufficient amount of drying. So we got this desiccant, I think that's how you say it, dryer by Aeropneumatics that we're gonna be installing in line. And I'll show you guys. So this is the dryer right here. This stuff turns purple when water is absorbed in it. So you can look through the little peep window and see when this stuff needs changed. Now, from what I understand, you can just put this on a cookie sheet and cook it in the oven again after it is absorbed with moisture and you can just reuse it. I'm gonna put this up line of the motor guard filter because we have a couple free filters over there on the air compressor. And then this motor guard filter should capture any of the dust. So before I ran to Lowe's to get the fittings, I decided to open the fittings parts box and found these two guys that I think will work. Um, I would have preferred brass, but I don't want to make a trip to Lowe's right now. So just put some Teflon on these and then got our inlet and outlet tighten those down and then what my plan is is to put this a little further upstream than what I was originally thinking so that it also filters the air for the sandblaster. So now this guy is installed up here. Put the PEX fittings on. Got the little sight window with the desiccant. If it's blue it'll turn pink when it is waterlogged. And now we just need to turn the air back on.